So today I'm going to do some cleanup on the um, template that I've been working on here for a client and just wanted to show you what's going on here. Um, for the purposes of this we're going to ignore these underground tanks that I've created uh, toward the back of the building. Those are going to be for rainwater harvesting um, but that's not really part of our template file that's just a little project that I'm uh, working on at the same time. So ignore those guys. Um, so the first thing that we want to do here is get rid of level two because uh, this is a one-story um, structure, slab on grade kind of construction with some floor depressions and things like that. So I'm going to go in and just get rid of that. I can get rid of that over here in the project browser just by clicking on level two, do a right click on top of that, and hit the delete option on that flyout menu. Uh, now, if I go to my north elevation here, just by sliding down in the project browser, double-clicking on north, I can now see that uh, level 2 is still there. So, uh, what I would want to do is check and make sure that I don't have anything that's linked or tied or locked to that particular level. Uh, because all I've gotten rid of so far is just the um, the view of the level. I haven't actually gotten rid of the level. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now by just clicking the delete button on my keyboard. gives me a, um, a question there that um, do I want to go ahead and delete that. gives me a little warning and I say yes. And so now I've got that gone. And what I'm trying to do here is to organize my levels so that they make sense. And so I'm going to add a couple of levels here. I know that I'm going to have something like a strip footing that goes around the exterior along with a foundation wall. So I'm going to go ahead and place some levels in there for that. I'm going to put um, a level that's four feet below level one just as a starting place for my um, bottom of my foundation wall. And we'll see from the structural engineer if that's anywhere close to correct. And then we'll give it a foot thick uh, footing that can go beneath that. So to do that, I'm in my north elevation. I'm going to go up to the level line here uh, on my home tab, click on level, and um, I could draw it, which is, is easy, but I'm going to use the offset tool um, in the pink lines option here. So click once on pick lines, and then I'm going to make my offset be, um, I forget what I said now, four feet maybe? So four feet. Now notice that you have to be careful which side of the line you are on when you click. You'll get a um, little dashed blue inference line telling you where that level is going to come in. I'm going to go ahead and click so that it comes in below. So there you see my level five happening below my level one at negative four feet. That's exactly what I wanted. Now keep in mind that if I do that same operation again, watch what happens, level six, level seven, it allows me to keep putting level on top of level. Um, and it doesn't give me a warning saying that I'm doing that. That's um, kind of annoying uh, because I have students all the time who place level on top of level and all of a sudden they're at level number 22 on a three-story building and they don't know why. Um, so I'm going to take these back out just by holding down control and hitting the Z on my keyboard. So now I'm back to level five, that's what I want. Uh, now I'm going to put in a level below that at negative five feet. So again I use the pick lines tool and this time I want an offset of one foot. And I'm going to come in below that. Boom, there you go. I've got a level six at negative five feet. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. And my graphics are a little bit messed up. I want to give some space in here so that I can see my numbers for uh, level five. So what I need to do is hit this little uh, add elbow button that's right underneath the L sort of in level six. And then I'm able to grab these dots and rearrange things a little bit. And that allows me to put some space in there and now I can actually see the numbers. Let's slide up toward the top, make sure we're okay there. Yeah, we're fine. So I'm gonna slide down toward the left-hand side of this view and just select one of my levels here and drag this guy out a little bit just to um, make sure he's uh, all the way beyond my building there in my canopy so that uh, I've got levels that go consistently all the way across. 
Now, let me go and check that. I'm in the north elevation. Let me go to the south elevation. It should match. And it does. Those levels go all the way through the building. And my east elevation. There, we might want to clean that one up as well. So just click on one of them. And I'm going to slide these levels out toward the right-hand end. Uh, these guys didn't get locked to those. So let me drag those out separately. Zoom in here a little bit and clean up the graphics here. So the east elevation, now let's go to the west elevation. And there again, that needs a little cleanup. I'm going to go ahead and drag these out beyond my underground rainwater tanks here. Um, which again aren't really pertinent to this template but something I'm working on for something else so let's clean these guys up a little bit and there we go so now I've got levels where we need them I'll shorten these up a little bit uh, let's go back to the north elevation for just a minute and talk about the strategy there now I could um, this canopy roof what I could do is say, hey, that needs to have a level on it as well. So, and I know that there's going to be some structural change to this, but I'm going to go ahead and put a level on it just to show you since we're working in levels. So I'm on my home tab, click on architecture, um, click on level, and this time I'm going to use the pick lines tool, but I'm not going to put an offset in there. I'm just going to leave it at pick lines. I'm going to pick the top of that canopy and I can select that line one more time, drag that guy out to the end here, and over a little bit so I can see dashes. There we go. So um, now I've got a level that is my top of canopy, which might work in with the rest of my elevations as I get things going along. But what I wanted to point out was that my um, labels can be at either end or both ends. So if I click on this level line and check this box to the left end of that, I'm going to get a label there at the left end. Matches the other one. It's top of storefront. Let's slide over here and check that. Top of storefront right there. And so I can have labels or not have labels. I can uh, do all sorts of stuff if that's what I want to do. Let's see if I can get this to line up. There we go. Okay, so a little bit about levels and getting things organized. Um, we'll go and check some things and uh, continue this on in the next lesson.